it was in Paris, where he stayed for about two years, that he got to know Gauguin, relatively towards the end. And immediately, um, they started to exchange ideas. They liked each other's work very much. And then Van Gogh went to Arles, to the south of France, because he wanted to go um, to the south and experience a more exotic environment. And he worked there for, I mean, from March 1888 and in October 1888, Gauguin came. What happened was that Van Gogh had always seen or positioned Gauguin as the great master because he admired him so much. He thought he had so much more experience. He had been working for a longer time, had more connections and things. Uh, but during this year in Arles, Van Gogh made incredible strides. He advanced his own art in amazing ways. And so um, Gauguin came as, okay, I'm going to show Van Gogh, my friend, how to do this. And he arrives and he sees this incredible oeuvre that Van Gogh had prepared. And so from the beginning, there is this, maybe not a tension, but um, um, two big titans sort of meeting in a way. So there was an incredible richness of exchange, lots of discussions. Van Gogh writes that they were sometimes heated, that as if electricity was going on. Um, so at the same time, also very inspiring for both. They experimented together, they worked together, sometimes side by side. It, 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 I think it was logical that it couldn't go well that this had to break off. Despite this breakup, they continue to be friends, colleagues, rivals, collaborators. And it is wonderful that um, Van Gogh, more than a year later, picks up this drawing, which Gauguin had left behind, and uses it to, um, to make his own paintings. And spectacular paintings they are, several repetitions. Um, and he writes in a letter to Gauguin that he thought it was a testament to their time together, a synthesis of uh, the Alésienne. And the, the way how Madame uh, Ginoux is presented here is very, very different than Gauguin's intention. Um, for example, the fact that she's leaning on, an, on her hand like this, this is what Gauguin also used, but while in the expression of the drawing, she has a little bit of a calculating sort of um, observing look. She becomes very much more melancholic and thoughtful in Van Gogh's um, interpretation.